Why is the name of Jesus a name that is above every other name? The word of God tells us at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord. So why is the name of Jesus above every other name? Dear brothers and sisters, you see, a name has a very important significance for a person. I hope you also know the name of your, uh, the meaning of your name. Maybe you must search for the meaning of your name because the meaning of your name is very, very important. I know today a lot of uh, young parents, when a child is born, they go to Google. They search for a good name which has a good meaning because a meaning to a name is very, very important. A name can tell you your character, your mission, your significance, your authority, and your power. Same way, in the days of Jesus, there was no Google. <laughs> so, an angel came and revealed the name of Jesus to Joseph. In Matthew chapter 121, it says, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name of Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. So here is this angel who appears to Joseph and tells Joseph, You are to call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sin. And so from the name we can find out the mission and the character and the authority and the power of Jesus. You will call his name Jesus. The name and the character. Jesus means savior. The word Jesus means savior. It showed that Jesus is going to save and to redeem mankind the name of jesus that is why the name of jesus is above every other name philippines chapter 2 9 to 11 says therefore god exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every other name that at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth Every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You see, that's why the name of Jesus, uh, St. Paul is saying, is a name that is above every other name. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. My brothers and sisters, the name of Jesus above every other name. There is no other name that can be compared to the name of Jesus. That's why remember what Jesus himself said. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus is telling everyone who he is. He is the way to the Father. He is the truth and he is the life. And that's why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. In other words, Jesus is telling all his disciples, there is no other way. If you want to reach the Father, there is no other way. There is only one way to reach the Father. That is through Jesus. There is no other truth. You can search the entire world. You can read all the books required. You can do what you want. You can search for the truth. You can only find the truth in Jesus. That's why Jesus said, if the Son of Man sets you free, you will be free indeed. The truth is Jesus. The way is Jesus. And Jesus said, I am life. I am the way. I am the truth. And I am life. People today are unfortunately searching for life in everything. They're searching for life in money, in marriage, relationships, property, possessions, dignity, career. But you can only find life in Jesus. That's why Jesus said in John 10, 10, I come to give you life and life in all its abundance. My dear brothers and sisters, you and I as Christians can only be happy. We can only be peaceful only when we find Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. If we don't find Jesus as our life, we will be running after many, many things. We will run after the world. We will run after money because we think that is going to fill the emptiness in our life. But here is Jesus saying, no, I am your life. 
in him is life says the word of God when you come to know Jesus you will discover life life to the fullness then you can detach from the world then you can say no to the things of the world and then you can follow Jesus as a disciple simply because you have discovered life Jesus says I am the way I am the truth and I am the life no one comes to the father through me you know, Jesus is making this statement which is today many people say you know this statement is very controversial very controversial no one comes to the father except through me just saying I am the only way to the father this is the words of Jesus these are not my words they are the words of Jesus either you believe the words of Jesus or you don't believe the words of Jesus it is no use being in between I am here to tell you I believe in the words of Jesus no one comes to the father except through me only through Jesus you can go to the father in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 Saint Paul is saying something beautiful Saint Paul is saying this there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity the man Christ Jesus he is telling us Saint Paul is telling in the letter in the book of Timothy he says there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity and that man is Jesus Christ so Jesus is indeed a bridge Jesus is like a bridge between the father and man between us so the only way man can approach Jesus only way a man can go to the father rather uh, and go to the father is through Jesus and that's why the name of Jesus is above every other name acts chapter 4 verse 12 tells us there is salvation in no one else god has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved there is no salvation outside jesus that's what jesus is uh, uh, the acts of the apostles are telling us there is salvation in no one else except jesus god has given no other name under heaven by which man can be saved but the name of Jesus you see that is why we are saying the name of Jesus is above every other name and that's why Jesus said uh, Saint Paul says in Romans chapter 10 verse 13 he says uh, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved if you call on the name of God if you call on the name of Jesus you will be saved because the name of Jesus is above every other name Today I wanted to give you four reasons, apart from what I said, four reasons why the name of Jesus is above every other name. The name of Jesus, yeah? Number one, you see, Jesus' name brings victory over sin. Point number one is, it brings victory over sin, the name of Jesus. Romans 3.23 says, everyone has sinned and we all fall short of God's glorious standards. You see, God has a standard and man falls short of, it, short of it because we as men and women fall short of God because of sin in our lives. So what did Jesus come to do? He came to bring victory over sin in our lives. That's why the name of Jesus is above every other name. No other name can bring you victory over sin except the name of of Jesus that's why Jesus means Savior Jesus means Savior he came to save you and me from sin from sin he came to save us Luke 19 verse 10 says for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost the mission of Jesus was to seek and to save the lost that's why there is that beautiful parable isn't it where Jesus said if one sheep is lost the the shepherd will leave the 99 righteous sheep and go after the lost sheep that is the mission of Jesus that is the heart of Jesus Jesus came to seek and to save the lost 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says for God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ look at Saint Paul what is he saying Saint Paul is saying in 2 Corinthians 5 21 God Christ who knew no sin 
Jesus, who knew no sin, he was the sinless one, became sin for us. What does it mean? He took upon himself our sin. Jesus was that substitute. We should have gone to the cross. We should have died. But here comes Jesus, the sinless person. Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us. For what reason? So that we may become the righteousness of God. Through the death of Jesus, St. Paul is saying, Jesus reconciled us back to the Father. That is victory over sin. Romans 10 verse 13 says, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everybody. It doesn't matter, sisters and brothers, which religion people belong to. Anyone who calls on the name of Jesus will be saved, says the word of God. And that's the reason it is important for you and for me. We as Catholics must take the name of Jesus, which is above every other name, more frequently in our lives. Because Romans 10 verse 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What is Paul saying? If you confess with your mouth, what is confess? Speak it out. Declare it. Pro proclaim it. If you, if you every day, maybe sit on your bed every morning and say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. If you confess with your mouth, if you declare it with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart. God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Look at Paul giving us a very simple solution. How to be saved. Say Jesus is Lord, he says. If you say Jesus is Lord, if you confess Jesus is Lord, if you declare Jesus is Lord, believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved from anything. You will be saved from your sin. You will be saved from your sickness. You will be saved from Satan. Jesus' name is above every other name. That's why no other name can compare to the name of Jesus Christ. And you and I, sisters and brothers, are so privileged. We are so privileged. We know the name of Jesus from our childhood, from our birth. I want to encourage you to take that name of Jesus more and more and more in your life. Whoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Point number two. Why is Jesus' name above every other name? Because the name of Jesus, one we said, it brings us victory over sin. Second point we're saying is, the name of Jesus brings us victory over sickness. You see, in Mark chapter 16, verse 18, it says, they will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. They can lay their hands on sick people and they will get well. In Mark 16, verse 17, the previous verse, it says, in my name. So Jesus is very, very clear. If he says, in my name, if you lay your hands upon sick people, they will recover. Amazing. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power to get healed. For example, if you pray over somebody in someone else's name, in the name of Robin, be healed, that person will not get healed. Try it out. But if you pray in the name of Jesus, that person will get healed. Why? Because there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, he is Lord. That's why the name of Jesus is above every other name. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verse 6 says, But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, get up and walk. So here is Peter again, showing us the power in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I don't have silver, I don't have gold, I have one thing, I know Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. And that person got up and walked. In the name of Jesus Christ. So there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over sickness will come only in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. I remember sisters and brothers, you know, I went to a, a, a town away from my city and I saw a, a boy who was 10 years old. He was limping. So they told me his, uh, his leg was one inch short. One inch short. So he was limping. 
So I put him on a chair and I told the boy, you know, boy, I want to pray for you. So how did I pray? In the name of Jesus Christ. I laid my hands on the boy's leg and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command your leg to become normal, to become, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And instantaneously, his leg grew one inch and he walked so beautifully. No more limping, no more embarrassment, no more embarrassment among his students, among his classmates. He was, you know, like a small, just like this uh, person at the temple, you know, jumping. And he was so excited, 10-year-old person, walking normally now in the name of Jesus. See, there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. That is important. I remember I was in Mumbai preaching a retreat to the youth and I told all the youth, listen, there is power in the name of Jesus. Today when you go home, if somebody is sick at home, lay hands on them and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Because when you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, they will get healed. So here's this guy. Sunday evening he went home. His grandmother was sick. She was lying on a bed. He put his hand on her and said, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ be healed and his grandmother got completely and totally healed praise God you see there is the power in the name of Jesus Christ I want to encourage you is anybody sick at home is somebody is sick at home please lay your hands on those sick people and pray in the name of Jesus and they will get healed they will get healed because there is power in the name of Jesus victory over sickness comes only in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. I can give you 100 examples, but we don't have much time here to tell you this. But what I want to tell you is, there is power in the name of Jesus. That's why the name of Jesus is above every other name. Point number three. It brings us, the name of Jesus brings us victory over death. The name of Jesus brings us victory over death. Romans 6.23 says, the wages of sin is death. What death? spiritual death the wages of sin is death see there is something called eternal damnation sisters and brothers eternal damnation the sep that is what what is eternal dam uh, damnation um, uh, permanent uh, separation from god completely separation from god so that's why G the word of god is saying the wages of sin is death so you and i just can't continue to walk the way however we want to walk with god there is if there is a punishment for sin, there is consequences of sin, and that is eternal damnation, eternal punishment. Therefore, we, we should call on the name of the Lord. Therefore, we must make Jesus the Lord and the master of our life and take the name of Jesus, above, which is above every other name, daily. The name of Jesus must be on every Catholic, on every Christian slip, always. Because Jesus means Savior, says the word of God. Romans 6.23 says, But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, if you put your faith in Jesus, then you will not have, you will not go through uh, this damnation. What you will, you will have is, you will receive eternal life in the name of Jesus Christ. You will receive this eternal life. You know, eternal life. Jesus is Lord. It's the free gift of God. God comes and gives you this free gift. Eternal life, you don't merit it. You don't, don't get it through your good work. You don't get it through your holy life. It is God's gift to you. So it says Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9. That's why in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, St. Paul said, Oh death, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? It is death has lost his power for everyone who puts their name, uh, puts their trust in the name of Jesus. You know, death has lost its power. Death has lost its uh, sting. There is victory in the name of Jesus. And in 1 Corinthians 15, 15, 57, uh, Paul says, But thank God, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the name of Jesus, through Jesus, there is victory for you and for me from sin and from death. That is the reason why the name of Jesus is above every other name. That's why you see... John 3.16, we all know this beautiful passage. Look at John 3.16, what it says. God so loved the world so much that he gave his 
one and only son so that everyone who believes in Jesus will not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved the world, he gave his only son Jesus. So if you believe in Jesus, you will not perish. You will have eternal life. To believe in Jesus means to be like Jesus and to live like Jesus and to become a disciple of Jesus. When we become like this, we will experience eternal life that Jesus promised. But those who reject Jesus, what happens? When I say, I don't want Jesus, I reject Jesus, I reject the good news. John 3, 18 says, There is no judgment against anyone who believes in Jesus. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in Jesus. But anyone who does not believe in Jesus has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. Who said this? Jesus. John 3.16. Jesus is saying, everyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's only Son. That's why, sisters and brothers, it is so important for you and for me to make sure that we believe in Jesus, live like Jesus, yeah? Be like Jesus, live like Jesus, and become the disciples of Jesus. That's why if you read the Gospels, you'll find amazing, you know, victory over death. Raising, raising the dead is another sign of victory over death. Jesus raised Lazarus. Jesus raised Jairus' daughter, you know? So it is quite amazing to see Jesus came to bring victory over death. My last point, my last point, you see, why is Jesus' name above all other names? Because my last point is says it is the name of Jesus brings victory over Satan. Victory over Satan. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 says, But the Son of Man came to destroy the works of the devil. One of the reasons why Jesus came was to destroy the works of the devil. And what are the works of the devil? Sin, sickness, death. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. That's why Jesus said, you know, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I come that you may have life, and life in all its abundance. The thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That, that's what Satan comes to do. But Jesus has got us victory over Satan by defeating Satan. He came to destroy the power of Satan in this world and in each one of our lives. So my dear brothers and sisters, the name of Jesus is above all, above all names because the name of Jesus brings us victory in four areas. Victory over sin, victory over sickness, victory over death and victory over Satan. Therefore, you and I must take the name of Jesus more and more and more in all our lives. Lord, we want to thank you for Jesus. We want to thank you that your name is above all other names. And through, through your name, you bring us victory over sin, sickness, death, and Satan. Lord, we pray, give us this grace to always call on your name. For your word tells us, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. May your name always be on our lips, Lord. Because if we confess with our lips that you are Lord and believe in our heart, you raised Jesus from the dead, we will be saved. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.